A zombie at round 100 has health of 5,525,295. In Black Ops 1, 2 and 3, a single shot from the M16 deals 100 damage. However, there is a times 4 headshot multiplier, meaning each bullet shot to the head deals 400 damage. Dividing the zombie's round 100 health by 400 gives us an answer of 13,813.2375. You cannot fire 0.2375 of a bullet, therefore we round this number up to 13,814. 13,814 headshots from an M16 to kill a single zombie at round 100. A single fully loaded M16 in PO1 and 2 contains 150 bullets, so dividing 13,814 by 150 gives us the answer of 92.093, which we will round up to 93. Furthermore, a fully loaded M16 in BO3 contains 270 bullets, so again we'll divide 13,814 by this time 270, giving us the answer of 51.162, which we will round up to 52. This means you would need to fire 93 M16s to kill a single zombie at round 100 in Black Ops 1 and 2, and 52 M16s to kill a single zombie at round 100 on Black Ops 3. However, on Black Ops 2 and 3 zombies, if you buy Double Tap 2.0, then it will fire two bullets for every one shot, meaning we can divide the number 93 by 2, which leaves us with an answer of 46.5, which will round up to 47, meaning you would need to fire 47 M16s with Double Tap 2 to kill a single zombie at round 100 on Black Ops 2. And if we apply the same formula to Black Ops 3, we would need to fire 26 M16s. Please note that these stats only apply to World at War, BO1, BO2 and BO3 since BO4, Cold War and any potential future COD Zombies games use a different health system. As always a big shout out to those of you who are in the members club supporting the channel. If you missed how the sickle performs at round 100 then it's the video on the left and the video on the right will take a look at how the upgraded M16 from Black Ops 1 and 2 performs against round 100 zombies as the Skullcrusher.